Hey guys, welcome back. Really quick mailbag today. Got some more goodies from Hackaday. Let's have a look. Let's open this one first because this one I'm really excited about. I've been really excited to get this. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, well, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I don't want to damage it. it. May seem a little silly, but what I got is a t shirt. I actually got. A Hackaday t-shirt finally. Totally, totally cool. I am gonna wear this with pride. It's actually a oh, really nice t-shirt. A simple idea can change the world. Sure can guys. Awesome job Hackaday. Thank you for the t-shirt. Been uh, just eagerly awaiting this. Didn't even notice. Got another logo sticker dealio. Perfect. We can put that on a project. See what else we got here, guys. Uh, definitely uh, pretty excited about this one too. Not all about t-shirt here. Pretty sure I know what should be in here. <laughs> not not no hair care products this time, guys. We got another logo. What we got is the light blue bean. Very very cool. This is, I believe, it's their own microcontroller dev board and I, I haven't had a chance to really look into these a lot but what I did figure out is it has a Bluetooth low energy on board battery on board all the pins broke out very very cool RGB LED on board three axis gyro on board and it's powered by an Atmega 328 if I remember right which is uh, basically your standard micro um, very capable processor I think they've got it running at 8 megahertz on this one but I had to double check that guys it supposedly has three digital IO and two analog but it looks like we have five hmm I have to double check that you can post in the comments below I can't remember how much IO it has lots of room for breakout very cool little board I'm looking forward to giving this a try a lot of guys are setting these up with a, I think it's node red with the Raspberry Pi to, to allow this to talk to uh, to talk to the Pi and be a standalone IO device really nifty all one piece never used anything like it guys I've never been big on all the standalone micros out there because there's just too many but uh, I'm gonna give this one a try so we'll give this a go in an upcoming video cheers Hackaday thanks for these early bird prizes really appreciate it guys you can check out my Hackaday uh, 2015 prizes down below that I submitted and that's how I got these is uh, these were early bird prizes So cheers Hackaday awesome stuff really appreciate everything you've done